Hey, and how is it going? Everybody obviously is working through Vanguard guns right now, getting ready for the new Caldara uh, Warzone Pacific map. So, obviously, we're spending time leveling these guns up, and I wanted to find the best way to do this. Now, I, I'm sure if you're on Twitter, you're seeing a lot of your favorite YouTubers and content creators talking about this method. Now, this method is a zombies method, and it it is fairly efficient, and it does work fairly well, but you also need to consider that it depends on how you play. Obviously, depending on the gun that you're using, this might be more or less efficient. Now, with the MG42, obviously, I was just ripping through that on multiplayer, and like and that went really quickly. But then I start hitting the K98s, I start hitting the three line, I start hitting, you know, the, the sniper rifles in general. And, and that's where I really need to take advantage of this. So all we're really doing is loading into zombies, getting 35 melee kills with the firearm, bouncing out, and reloading, doing the same thing. Now, the, the best method to do this is going to be go ahead and get 5 to 8 kills uh, in the kind of hub world of the zombies. From there, you're going to want to hit Harvest. Do not hit Blitz and do not hit Transit. Uh, these two are going to kind of give you a timer or just not let you have the spawns that you need. Now, you're doing this in about 2 minutes. And that 2 minute length of time, you're getting about 1800 XP. Which means that's about a gun level every time you do this per 2 minute period. So, I mean, you can bust through, what... 30 gun levels in an hour, there's 70 in total, takes about two and a half, three hours per gun, maybe four hours, uh, because the other levels obviously scale a little bit differently. So, I mean, it's it's a fairly efficient way to do this, but it's just, you it's just mind-numbing, man. Spike. It is not fun, it's not exciting, Honestly, and I'm hearing well, the thud of that you. rifle butt and zombies' heads in my sleep, and I'm just over it. So, I mean, uh, people like me where I'm not saying that I'm better than most people. I'm just saying that I will, I'll suffer a little bit, right? Um, is, yeah, I mean, I might be able to get 56,000 XP per hour right now with this method on zombies um, versus the, if you get about 40 kills in a game on TDM, um, you're looking at about 41,000 XP per hour. Because, I mean, you're sitting at double XP right now, which obviously that won't stay around, but we have double XP tokens. But even without those double XP tokens, for me, the TDM is just a much more acceptable way to do this, or domination, really, if you have the opportunity for domination. Because domination, you can knock out 80, 100, maybe even 200 kills, depending on what gun you're using. And it made the shotguns go extremely fast. If you know the combat shotgun right now, that gun is absolutely broken. And, and you can knock out 200 kills on shipment or uh, Das House, I mean, per round. And it's, it's insane. You know, at that rate, you're really gaining XP really, really quickly. But as we see here, it's, it, it, this method works. So if you're struggling with a gun, and you aren't necessarily the best guy or gal for running games in multiplayer, this might be the method. And even if you're not, this is the method. So you're going to earn an extra about 15,000 XP per hour doing this over, you know, domination and TDM. And that's saying 40 kills per game in those modes. Uh, but if you obviously if you get more than that, it's going to scale a little bit differently. But it depends on how you want to play. I mean, the XP per minute is significantly different and significantly more on the zombies right now. But will this be patched? We don't know. Will this be a long-term thing? We have no clue. It's it's hard to say with Sledgehammer right now. They are currently out of the office, returning back this week, and hopefully we see some. XP reduction in some of these guns over some XP buffs or something, because it is absolutely brutal. But I think we're going to see a lot more 2 XP, uh, you know, time periods right now with holidays and things like that. I think they're going to use that to kind of negate the increased leveling on these guns. And if you're curious, you know, if you're curious about the actual leveling rates of these guns, I've, I've done that math as well. And it's actually fairly surprising. So for Modern Warfare... You need 116,000 XP to level up, like the M4. Not all guns in that game are 71 levels, but a few of them are. And at that rate, that's that's the lowest of the group. Cold War, you need 149,800 XP. And in this game, Vanguard, you need 153,125,000 XP. Wait, 
153,125 XP. You know what I'm saying here. So we're sending an extra 37,000 XP over what Modern Warfare was. And the Modern Warfare grind was, to, to me, it felt good. You know, it, it kept you progressing in a uh, way that that didn't feel like you were just struggling to, to play. But, I mean, once we start looking at XP contracts with these guns, we're sitting at a whole extra 132 extra contracts over Modern Warfare guns. And looking at plunder kills, dude, that's 180 extra plunder kills over Modern Warfare. So, obviously, with these times, I mean, if you're getting 20 kills per game, it's going to take you forever in, in TDM. It's going to take you forever in Domination. And, and it's just, I'm curious to see where they go with this. Is this going to be a long-term thing? Hopefully not. Hopefully things get kind of changed around. And I don't mind getting screwed over just as long as you guys can level up faster. Now, it's also important to note that there are... A bunch of other factors like the PlayStation uh, XP increase, the Clan XP increase, the Battle Pass XP increase, the Operator XP increase. So all of these things do kind of come to a head and maybe impact this a little bit, and that's why it's increased over Modern Warfare. I mean, all of that kind of being said, guys. Though, I mean, what do you think? Do you guys think this is fair? I mean, I know a lot of you guys only have what. Eight hours a week to play, and that's you know spread out throughout the week, not necessarily just the weekend. You get home from work, and and you want to play some Call of Duty, and and you might not necessarily want to care about leveling these guns because you want to play with the MP40, the STG, the BAR, you know the guns that really impact how you play, and you don't want to run the bread because that thing is terrible, right? You want to play what's going to be fun, and. My big question, I guess, what I'm trying to ask you guys is, do you think that this steps on the fun of Call of Duty? Do you think that this negates from the fun of what Call of Duty is supposed to be? Or is the grind part of it now? Is the grind a, a special part of the game that we now not only enjoy, but love? Is, is that a thing? I, I mean, I don't think so, personally. But comment down below, guys, and let me know. Um, we're going to return back to our weekly streams here soon. We are just getting over COVID. Um, I've had COVID for, got 14 days now, and it is not a fun time, guys. Uh, so do the best you can to avoid it if you can. Hopefully, we'll be back to our normal schedule. Um, a big shout-out to those of you that checked out the stream for the Secrets of the Pacific. Uh, you know, unlockable stuff. That was awesome. I appreciate everybody that showed up. That was my biggest stream by far. And again, thank you guys for showing up during that, even if I wasn't on face cam and and just kind of doing what I needed to do. But guys, I'm going to hop on out of here and go chug a bunch of water. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you around.